And we are getting set for fight number eight. Man, are you not entertained? Eight. Highlight real Highlight head kick real KO. Head kick. It's always great to see. Willie Lee Henderson versus Oba Salim. Let's go to Jamie Grant for the fighter introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the arena, Willie Henderson. Eric, Willie the Rainmaker Henderson. The Rainmaker, six foot one, another hundred. Rain. This is the Goodness second 45er that yeah. six one on this card. Hey, a lot of height, usually less power. Let's see if he knows how to work his reach. Fighting out of Cape Girardeau. Powerful fitness, making the welterweight or the bantamweight limit 145 pounds. Man. Oh, we have rating coming out. Watch out now. He's gonna throw some lightning at somebody. Oh, he got lightning on the shorts too. Oh, does he? I didn't even see I that. I think so. I like, I like. That's one part about fighting. You gotta be entertaining. People are gonna remember you. If you're not that good, you gotta be entertaining. <laughs> Well, it remains to be seen how good he really is. But he's coming out doing a little bit of the Muay Thai shuffle. He has you know, the entertainment part down. Yeah. The Rainmaker, though. I love the yeah. nickname. Yeah, I like it. Let's see I what like it means. It. It's like dropping bomb, like Rainmaker. I don't know. I, don't. I always think of strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting some dollars to fall down, baby. Making it rain. Maybe he's going to make it rain, <laughs> dropping some bombs. You know, just from his entrance, looks like he's a striker, wants to keep it on the feet. You know, like I said, you know, four yeah. victories in nine bouts on the offside of a 500 victory. Yeah. But you know what? We don't know the level of competition he's fought. He, you know, obviously looks like right, he's right. in phen phenomenal shape. And with that range, you know, somebody with a caliber, I don't know much about his coaches, but I know somebody of your caliber could really teach him to use that range. Yeah, he wants to keep to it on it. that feet. Yeah, as we saw how to in use it. previous fights. So what advice are you going to give a long rangey guy that wants to keep it on the feet? Push kicks. You need to throw straight shots. These guys get in here trying to throw hooks and bombs. No, you stick to your one-two and your push kicks. You keep them back. You get them scared, scared to come in. Once they're scared, you can just walk them down and pick them off, Eric. And let's meet his opponent. Memphis, Tennessee, welcome to the arena, Zoba Salem. Not just Zoba Salem, Zoba the King Zoba Salem. Fighting out of Rock City MMA, they are one and oh tonight. You know, we had Cole Bland um, fight earlier. Looked phenomenal in his victory. Another Rock City, guys. We know these guys. Anybody coming out of this gym is a badass. I just yeah, got to say, yeah. they're a badass. King Zoba. That's one thing. I had, like, 50 million fights before I had shorts like the Rainmaker or a walkout. You know, I had none of this stuff. <laughs> well, so this is a battle of not only just probably really damn good fighters, but nicknames, right? right How did right. we get the body you snatcher the bo nickname? Hey. How did you get the body snatcher? I didn't get my nickname probably until after like 10 shots, you know, most of my fights by knockout. Willie Henderson the third, Zoba Salem. Now, I don't know what just happened. It looked like Zoba made the cardinal rule of forgetting your mouthpiece. He had to run back into the back. So guess uh, what? Luckily, luckily we could fill a little bit of time. Tell yeah. us how you got that body snatcher The name. body snatcher. Most of my fights. Yeah, oh, really quick, I want to hear it. Tail of the tape, 28 years of, years of age, really, Lee Henderson, 6'1", 145 pounds, with a record of two and three, like I said, on the backside of a 500 victory. Fighting the 27-year-old Zoba Salim, the King Zoba Salim, 5'9", 145.6, with a record of 5-0. and oh. And I digress, how did we get the body uh, snatcher? Most of my fights knock out to the body. <laughs> Ooh. You yep. know what, I've sparred with you on a number of yep. occasions, and one time I said, you know what, screw this, I'm just gonna try and take them down. <laughs> and you're so damn good at standing that you've had to work so much takedown defense. Yeah, the sprawl is pure. And I did not want any of that stand up. You and, uh, you and believe it or not, Bobby Taylor have hit me harder than anybody. Bobby is a beast. He's in bare knuckle and, right yeah, now, and knocking post out. Number one contender, knocking bare knuckle. Out. All right, enough about us in our glory days. <laughs> right, right. Let's go to Jamie Grant with Way the opening introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Memphis, Tennessee, Memphis Music Room, Attitude MMA fans. Now is the time the amateur.
that your featherweight title is on the line. Make some noise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is an amateur contest. Got over three, three minute rounds in the 145 pound division. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. Four victories in nine bouts. He's a kung fu fighter, six feet, one inch tall, 145 pounds. Fighting out of Cape Girardeau, Missouri, representing powerful fitness. Give it up for Willie the Rainmaker Henderson. Rainmaker showing His some moves there. His adversary, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist undefeated, five victories, one knockout, three subs, one decision, five feet, nine inches tall, 146 pounds, fighting out of Little Rock, Arkansas, representing Rock City MMA. Give it up for Zoba, the King Zoba Salam. The King Zoba right back with the moves. This is going to be a good fight. They both have on yellow and black. Both Who's going to take the cookies? Both fighters take the center of the cage as intimidation. This is for all the cookies. This Ladies we and have got this is for the, the featherweight title, Memphis, Tennessee. Let's get it on! Willie Henderson, Zoba Salim, the featherweight title, amateur title is on the line. Attitude MMA, first round. Oh, man. Strap, strap season. Strap season, and here we go. Zoba takes the center of the cage. Being real rangy, the rainmaker. And you're probably going to hear Rock City's coach in our, in our headset because he uh, likes to yell instructions loud, but he is a phenomenal coach. The Rainmaker has this stance. It's kind of sideways. He needs to, if he's a Muay Thai type fighter, his front foot needs to be facing out or you're oh. very open to leg kicks. And, you can't uh, stand sideways. To, oh, oh glancing, head kick. Glancing head kick. Rocked him a little bit. A little flash knockout. He recovered well. King Zoba. Zoba has to bite down his mouthpiece, though, and get in, or he's going to keep getting caught with rangy stuff just like that head kick. And there, there you he go. Goes. He said, screw this. I'm diving in yeah. for that takedown. Outside trip right away gets it to the ground, and he's got three submission wins on his record. This looks to be his world. Yeah, this is where he wants to be. Crowd is absolutely in Zuba Salim's corner here. As you can hear, Zuba chance raining down. They're yelling for Zoba to get him off the cage. Yeah, no, Zoba really wants to get a posture up here. Unless he's looking to pass. To rain down punches, you're gonna have to uh you're gonna have to posture up right now. But it looks like he's just trying to smother him a little bit. Yeah. So should the Rainmaker walk up the cage, try to get his back onto the cage? The here? Rainmaker needs to get on his hip and fight for an underhook. Once you fight for that far side underhook, that arm that is against the cage, he has it, but he's not using it. Yeah. Now he's starting to try and use it, okay. but you need to buck his weight forward to, to off-center that balance, and then you'll be able to use the underhook. Right now, there's not really much you can do flat on your back. Throw some up kicks, maybe. And he sits right. down for an oh, ankle lock. Let's ankle see lock. what we got going on here. This is Looks a straight like ankle. High. Look, I don't know, they're gonna leg lock battle here. Doesn't look, look like, like he's kinda high on the leg. Doesn't look like uh, Henderson's too worried right now. Yeah. But this is one thing about punch. leg locks and ankle locks, it leaves you open to punches. Yeah, yeah. Henderson needs to push in. He doesn't he, need to pull out, he needs, he needs to push in. He needs to get another leg inside of Zoba's two legs. It's gonna take off the pressure. Right now he doesn't seem to be concerned. But Zoba is only squeezing. He needs to look back at us. Look, if he looks up at his coaches, he could finish this. What Henderson needs to do is he needs to swim another leg inside of there as well. But now he's going for his own. There we go. There we go. There we go. Go now in, he yep, can, he needs to go in and pound. Absolutely, but he's still staying on that leg. He can turn that into a heel hook now. He's raining down punches. Those were the rainmaker. Big shots to end the round. Rained That's the down danger the of falling back on legs. You know what? If you don't have it, then it really leaves your head open to taking these big shots because you're holding yeah. that leg so you have nothing to defend with. And Let's I can tell you what, those shots landed. He's walking back to the corner, his eyes kind of crossed walking back. I think this is where we're going to see that the he glancing head it. kick. A good body nice shot, body Zola, right there. But see, he's just too Boom, far. Boom, there we go. Great glancing shot. Now, it did land with the foot, not the shin. Shin might have been right, another yeah, story. Right, yeah, might have been night-night Irene. 
but as we did, they were gauging distance right away. So uh, looks like Rock City coaches are really going to tell Zoba, hey, let's just settle in here. You know, yeah. don't play this range game. We're right. either all the way in yep. or we're all yes, the way the out. Yes, the Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, it walk in, stay low, and make them think about it. Getting set for round number two, Willie Henderson, Zoba Salim, the 145-pound attitude MMA amateur title is on the line. Who do we give that first round to? It's kind of hard. Uh, on the feet, <laughs> on the feet, Rainmaker, on the ground, Zoba. You know, depending on how uh, the crowd is behind Zoba, that does make a difference. <laughs> You know, I think I'm nice going to just one, give one, it two. maybe to Willie Henderson, landed the bigger strikes, and that may have been the difference. There we go. Zoba used that to get in. That's what, obviously, Rock City was telling him in between. Close that distance. Now, if I'm Henderson, I will not throw any high kicks because it opens up. Oh, oh nice. Well, he rocked him. And he is hurt. He is With on shaky legs. Push kick. That's a... That was a nice oh, push, nice knee. knee. That is illegal. He needs that to is illegal he needs to here sprawl. in the state of Tennessee in he amateur. Needs to sprawl. He ate it and came in, closed the distance, and looked he's like got that may have been trip. to the body though. That knee. I mean, he was rocked. Looks like he's recovered now. Both arms are still in. It's going to be hard to finish here, but with a big squeeze, he can do it. If that arm comes out, he is in a lot. Zoba is in a lot of trouble. Needs to cross that arm over. His chest. But one arm is still in. It's getting tighter, though. He's coming up. Oh, he he's can throw up. a lot of elbow. Actually, amateur, yeah, this you is looking, throw elbows. This is looking bad. He needs to sprawl out. There we go. Willie needed to just clear the distance. The Rainmaker is, is raining down punches. He is raining them down. Nice head kick. He is pouring it on. He needs to keep his range because Zoba is going to look to grab Zoba's him. Zoba's mouth is leaking with blood. What a fight we have on our hands here. Willie Henderson looking to walk him down. Maybe that another front kick to the face looked like it could be open right now. Zoba still looks Man. like he is not with us. Yeah, he needs to keep jab. The Raymaker needs to keep pumping that jab. Just keep pumping it, pumping it, pumping it. Because he's letting him recover right now. And do you think that's a, a notion of, like, uh, Willie uh, kind of emptying the tank a little too early? Yeah, but you should have enough in the tank for a jab, in my opinion. Right. Just to keep him thinking, you know, you can't walk up on me. He's throwing all these head kicks. He needs to use more hands and keep his distance. A nice sprawl. That nice was kind sprawl. of a desperate attempt from Zoba. Trying to take the back here. He may be able to do it. Willie gave up the underhook. Now good. Got his back against the cage. That gave him a little bit of little bit of time. To not get that back taken. This is a grueling match. Man. Wides are leg, uh, legs are very wide. Gonna be hard to clasp those hands together. I believe Zoba is five and zero, right? Undefeated. And he gets it to the ground and reverse oh, nice, right away straight nice. in the mount. Heavy punches coming down. Zoba high guard. Wow, what Man, that a, was a round. Great, great round, great round. I, I don't want to say anything, but you said he, you should give up throwing the high kick. He throws the high he front threw kick, it, but you did and say, it landed. You did the say, push kick. You said throw a lot of teeps. Yeah, the teeps, the teeps straight up the middle. And that straight kick straight, came straight up the middle straight into the, the face, middle. and it changed the complexion of this it, fight. It, it, it. You know, this is right it after is that push kick. Right on the ground. Zoba trying to get up, eating heavy shots. Big knee, nice nicely blocked. But, you know, I don't care if you are blocking them. It is impact. They yeah. did, you do feel Especially it. Especially when so. you're rocked. Yeah, he's already rocked. His eyes are crossed. I mean, even if he's punching them on the glove, he is feeling it. He now, is feeling it. Now, this is the, this is where judges have a determination. Yeah. Is this a ten, was that a 10 8 round? Probably uh, yeah. not. Uh, I, I don't, don't know. know. I mean, Zoba did get, no, he didn't get a takedown. It could have been know. a 10 8 round. It's either 1 1, 2 0. One yeah. could have been a 10 8. Who knows? Third and final round. Memphis Willie Memphis Henderson. Final round. Here we go. Zoba Salim for the 145 kind of pound they made. strap. Let's go. Are you going? So, should he start off with high kicks or not? <laughs> Front kicks. <laughs> Front Breaking. kick. You don't want to get taken down. 
He is a little wobbly still. I don't know if he still had the cobweb. Nice. Or These are mean body kicks coming in. He is wobbly. Zoba is wobbly. These body kicks they have the open stance. He needs. Yeah. Rainmaker seems a lot more fresh. I mean, he 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 wants it. And he's going for that leg again, taking it, using it advantage. Go for a single leg. Rainmaker needs to sprawl out here. Sprawl out, maybe grab this far side ankle like he is. It's gonna in him at Zoba for coming, turning that angle just like that. And now Willie gets side control. One minute into our third and Willie final round. Willie needs to switch here. his hip. He needs to switch his hips. Yeah, replace. And get up. <laughs> re, he needs to replace one of those arms with the other underhook. His underhook is on his like awkward side, so he really can't do anything here except maintain the position. There's no strikes really. That Maybe that's what here. he wants to do. I mean, he is tired. His eyes. But are look, crossed. he's made, he's switching the underhook just like we said. Now he can uh, posture up and start throwing punches if he wants. Silva looking to recover guard. Now Zoba needs to do something in desperation because in my opinion, he is losing this fight. And if he wants this title, he needs to go balls to the wall. He needs to get this fight to the ground, him on top, but this wide leg stance is gonna be hard to get those uh, hands collapsed. Yeah. You know, and Henderson is really just crowbarring yeah, he's defending that, it. that, yeah. that yeah, far he's side not gonna, underhook. He's, he's not, not giving it up easy. Down easy. This is a war of attrition at this point. This is a war of attrition. Goodness, yeah. Rainmaker wants to break it and piece him up. Zoba wants to stay locked together. This is where Zoba does not want to oh, be. Big body shot. Rainmaker needs to throw straight down the middle. Just gonna say straight down the middle. He could throw another one of those. He is yep. he is deadly accurate Zoba, with that front kick. Zoba has a good guard to the side, but he's open straight through the middle. His hands are high in good positions. And those takedowns are not coming like they no. did in the first round. Yeah. It's 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Looks like Zoba's gonna have his first, first defeat here. And He's not much time to do Maybe, anything yeah. here. That was an excellent late. fight, excellent Willie fight. Henderson, King Zoba Salim. That fight turned on that first push kick to the face in that second it round. Turned. It was all Willie Henderson from yeah, there. Yeah, first push kick before that, the round kick, head kick. That, right. that rocked him too. I mean, he was rocked multiple times every round. Rainmaker made a statement tonight with a losing record and he takes out yeah, the undefeated, undefeated fighter kings of exactly. well we can't say yet look at this that's crowbar he said you're not taking me down i'm going to use no this way. i'm going to create space right here and then you know is this a push kick yeah. no this is Round a kick just a body kick he invested the, in that body yes. and that may be where the fatigue came you said it early just in that push. second round he is eating that body up eating them up there he is, untouched, the rainmaker. <laughs> the rainmaker still looking good. <laughs> still looking Looking fresh. to move to a 500 record, still looking fresh as he walked in the cage. He is in phenomenal shape. Yeah, to he's in good shape. That level that of- That was a good of, pace. He had, I mean, that level of output to still be jumping around yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's excited. Doctors still, are in the cage looking at- the lightning. Zoba. What's and up? let's go to Jamie Grant for the decision in our 145 nice, pound nice. title fight. Actually, nice they're still ta tallying the score, waiting on the scorecards. Looks like Jamie Grant does have it. Let's go to him now. Ladies and gentlemen, Memphis, Tennessee, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a final decision. We have a majority decision with a winner. The blue corner and new Attitude MMA Amateur Featherweight Champion. Give it up for Willie the Rainmaker Henderson. Well deserved. Willie Henderson, our new amateur 145 
Attitude MMA champion. I am here with and new Willie Henderson. What a performance. How do you feel after just a just a dog fight in there? Uh, I feel great. Um, thank you everybody for coming out. My first time being in Memphis. I'm going home with a belt. Everybody, if you're here right now, and if you're watching this, subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram. I got all this vlog right now. You can see everything from me leaving Cape Girardeau, weighing in, coming in, uh, cutting away everything. Look at my YouTube channel. I'm vlogging all my fights. Now, that first round, razor tight. You know, he comes in, gets a takedown, shoots for a leg lock. Didn't look like you were in any danger there. This fight changed on a round kick, then a front kick straight to the face. Did you know that you had him badly hurt in that second round? 100%. And when he got me in that leg lock, so my jiu-jitsu instructor, John Dudley, he's a beast of uh, leg lock, so I know when I'm in danger, and I seen he was squeezing, squeezing, but he didn't have a good bite on it, and he didn't have uh, his foot really over, over my body. So I knew, I was like, okay, I'm going to fight it. I'm not going to... I'm not going to get caught uh, getting submitted with it, but I'm going to let him use all. He was squeezing very, very hard trying to finish that, and he blew a lot of his energy doing that. Uh, man, shout out to my instructor, my MMA instructor, Jen. If not for him, you know, I'd just be still in here getting my ass whooped. So, you know. All right, you came in sub-500 record. With that performance, I have no idea. But it looked like in that second and third round, you invested a lot into body shots too, body kicks. Do you think that contributed to his fatigue down the stretch? Well, fatigue or no fatigue, what what really um, gained momentum in the fight for me was that front kick to the face, hurt him bad, and after that, he just wasn't all there. He wasn't the same. I, I mean, the whole fight, I was fully aware of everything. My cardio was great. My, my mind is sharp. So there was never a point in this fight where I didn't know what was going on, aware of everything. You know, and yes, my record's not the greatest, but that's because most of my MMA fights were before I started training. So, well, it was a spectacular fight. Me and my broadcast partner singing your praises the entire fight. What is next for you now that you got this strap? Uh, my next fight is December 10th, I think in Washington or something. I'm fighting for another MMA belt, so that's what's next for me. Give it up and new Willie Henderson. There we go, the and Rainmaker. I want to give a special shout out to all of Zoba's uh, family members and friends that came. I love coming and seeing people with supporters. I always travel to fight. I have nobody in this crowd. And a lot of times when I fight at home, I don't have a lot of people there coming to watch me. I love seeing all these people coming here to watch him fight. Like, that is a blessing. He has all of y'all. Alhamdulillah.